Um, thank you, Khahir. I'm glad to get the opportunity to talk about the civil, de uh, civil defence. And I want to thank the Minister for bringing forward this uh, legislation uh, at this time because um, uh, the, 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 and the memorandum that was circulated states that the purpose of the bill is to modernise existing legislation relating to the civil defence matters which is contained within the Air Raid Precautions Acts of 1939 and 1946 and the Civil Defence Act of 2012. Um, the Civil Defence offers five core services including emergency response, search and rescue, medical response, community assistance and radiation monitoring service. Uh, this is very important that at this time uh, that, we, that, 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 that the role is updated and that that, that be properly, properly recognised and, and the, the purpose of the bill is to consolidate the existing disparate le legislation in place in this area. We all know, and each and every one of us know, especially elected members, how vital the civil de de defence are to, 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 to people. And uh, like has been said, there are times uh, when, they, uh, when they're very visible during uh, the normal uh, big events where there's crowds of people, let it be the day of the Munster final in Killarney when we have a go, uh, at Cork, uh, and, and, and where we um, treat them very well and, and, and hope they don't win. Uh, but um, uh, they're very visible on day, days like that. And, uh, and then, like the Rose of Tralee and the horse racing in Killarney, all the different events and major events. But then, they're also equally visible on, on desperate days when there's uh, someone missing and a family is in trouble, and it, it, they appear to, 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 to play a vital role. And you see, the big thing about them is they're volunteers, but they're trained people. They're professional in their area, and they are, like I, I named the, 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 the various uh, roles that they, they can play, but they're trained volunteers. When someone gets a cardiac arrest, there's someone uh, they probably have the nearest at times to help, uh, when, help uh, when help is needed. And as I said, I, I'd like to say they, they, have, they have a vital role because uh, we see the diminishing presence of the Gardaí when they're taken away in different, uh, uh, d doing different operations. And let it be the army or let it be the search and rescue teams. They, 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 they provide equally as good service as those that are paid. And as part of the local authorities, um, they have to be recognised and they have to be properly treated and they have to have the proper equipment. And I'm appealing to you as Minister for this area um, that, that you ensure that they, they have that. I also want to thank all the other volunteering services in Kerry, like the Order of Malta, like the Red Cross, and like the air ambulance, which is vital, and we know the vital role that that has played in, in saving so many people and taking them directly to, to, to the, the bigger hospitals where they get treatment. And we know how, how, how great that service is, where it goes into uh, maybe uh, areas that are so slow to get in and out of, and, and, and uh, perform mir miraculous work. And, and, and we really appreciate them. And we, we raised that issue about the air ambulance here inside. And I'm proud to be a member of, of, of our group, the region, uh, the rural independent group, who raised this. And they need, those people need proper uh, uh, financial assistance to keep that service going. Because without it, in rural Ireland, rural places, rural Kerry, places like Glencairn, places like Scottish Lynn, uh, Brasna, Vast areas and Kerry is a massive county uh, ge geographically, and 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 it has to be recognised. Maybe here in Dublin, uh, the services are more more visible and more readily available. But we, we, the people living in rural Ireland, rural Kerry, they need the same services 
as, as the people everywhere else in the urban areas. And, and I appreciate, Minister, your, your, your efforts in this regard now, and we'll thank you if you uh, take stock of, of all what we're asking for and, and that the, these people are properly funded. Thank you very much, uh, Cahill.